Warning, this is not intended as a substitute for professional medical care and diagnosis. There are always risks associated with weight training and none of the instructions or meal plans should be performed without approval from your healthcare professional. As with all exercise programs, you assume certain risks with your health and safety. If you choose to participate in these risks, you do so of your own free will and accord. Michael McBath is a certified personal trainer with National Academy of Sports Medicine. He is not a medical doctor, and nothing in this video should be misconstrued to mean otherwise. Muscles of Motivation is not responsible for any injuries or death as a result of using these techniques. Muscles of motivation, baby. Let somebody else throw in that towel because I ain't throwing it in tonight. Right here, I'm going to warm up with the leg press. And then I never really warm up with the leg press, but today I just felt like doing something different. So right here, I'm doing 225. I end up doing like 60 reps, you know, just to get that blood flowing in the lower extremities. And then I jump off that and head straight to the squat rack. This right here is the squat exercise. I usually start with this, but if you've been watching this video, you notice that I start with the leg press. That was just to get a couple of reps in to get my legs warmed up. I mainly start with the squats because I'm doing heavy weight. And by the time I'm finished with my set, I'm literally burnt out. I start with 110 and I go for 30 to 40 reps on here and then I jump up to 160 and I go for 30 to 20 reps and then I jump up to 200, 215 and then I go for 30 to 20 reps and then I go to 250 and I go for 25 to 20 reps and then I go to 290 and that is 20 to 15 reps. But on this one, I think I uh, stick it out and do 25 reps because I felt like I had a little extra in me. And then right here, I jump up to 240. And then I pause. I might take like a 30 second to a minute break. I like to stretch my back out while I'm doing squats because the back sometimes get a little stiff and you always want to keep that back warmed up. You always want to keep the lower back muscles loose and ready to go. So then I jump up to 215. And when I jump up to 215, I'm doing 25 to 30 reps. Like I said, every exercise I do, I'm doing heavy weight, high reps. That's the way you build your muscle and you burn fat. See, these reps are actually like doing cardio. So I don't have to do too much cardio and I lose weight faster and I get more muscle. So after I do this, I jump up to 250. Now when I jump up to 250, I'm doing this 20 to 25 reps. Good weight, we call that good money. And um, I throw on the belt because I know my back will start getting a little tense. You know, just taking uh, safety precautions. I've been problem free on the back area for a good while now and don't want to suffer any back injuries. So now I'm going to jump up to 285. Now when I jump up to 285, I'm doing high reps too. I'm doing anywhere between 20 to 25 reps here too. And I'm giving it all I got. After that, I jump up to 315. Now that I'm doing 315, I'm gonna do that 20 reps. And as you see, I stop, then I come back and I do five more because I felt like I could do some extra ones. Now sometimes in the middle of a set, when it's real heavy, I might pause and let the weight sit so I can get my mental connection going with my muscle. That is very important. Your mental connection has to be there for your muscles to activate. If you go into a set and you're thinking like, oh, this is going to be heavy. Man, I'm afraid I might wobble, I might fall, then you'll never get the weight. You know, you got to sit in your head before you actually do it. You know, that's the way I always say. Visualize it first so you can execute it. Your mind is the most powerful thing. So after that, I jump up to 340. And I've already done this before. I did a video for those who was watching uh, the behind the scenes take. I did a uh, 20 reps. So now I'm gonna do another 20 reps of 340. And I, 
I pump it out. Uh, my legs are getting weak, but I give it all that I got. And in these last five reps, I start to feel a little comfortable. A lot of people may say, well, you know, your form's a little different. It's not right. It's not that. Trust me, I've been working out for three to four years. I've been certified as a personal trainer. You want to do your form. You want to get your form that fits you best. After you suffer multiple injuries, in order for you to get back to where you was and get better, you have to adjust your body to where it's comfortable for you. Some exercise you can't do the same way you done when you were 100% because your body is not formed that way. Anybody, if you ever look at anybody, they have like muscle imbalance. One arm might be stronger than the other one. That's just something that all of us have. So you have to find where you're comfortable at when you're doing the weights, but you make sure that you're not overloading one body part more than the other when you're actually working that body part. For example, I'm doing legs and I'm making sure that I'm using my uh, quad muscles, my glutes, everything right here. I'm not even using my back because really I don't even feel it in my back. If you notice, I kind of lean forward and I pop with my hips. That way I know I'm using my lower extremities. So I'm not not really using my back and I always make sure when I come up that I'm squeezing my glutes as tight as I can so I know I'm activating those and not activating the back muscle per se the back muscle is activated but it's not being used as much so I'm giving the back a break so right here we're gonna get into front squats then by this time my legs are like completely worn out so after finishing the back squats, I go on the front squats. Everybody knows the back squats work everything. But with these front squats, what I'm really trying to do is get that quad muscle to pop, that front quad muscle to pop. We're going to jump right into the front squats. And when we first start, I start off with 13 pounds. And I do anywhere between 20 to 30 reps. Now, as you notice, I might be like a little wobbly or I might be trying to catch the weight because my legs are burnt out by this time. Like they are literally feeling like jello, but I just keep pushing through it. If you want that muscle grow, you got to push yourself beyond the norm. Like you can't do what everybody else doing three sets of 10. You're not going to get anything. You're just going to maintain. So you're going to have to go beyond the norm. Be better than average, you know, uh, push yourself. After I do this for 20 reps, I go up to 18 pounds. I do that for another 20 reps. I actually do this for 25 reps. I keep telling myself to do five more reps because I feel it in me. And as you notice on some of these front squats, I do not come all the way up. I come halfway up because right now I'm working on my fast twitch muscles right here. This gives me better explosive time. It also gives me a faster burst like a uh, if you're like a sprinter or you're playing some kind of sport and you uh, you want that quick burst, you know, you like you got like 4 seconds to get to where you need to be. This is perfect for you. That's why the length is short right here. Like I'm not going all the way up. I'm not coming all the way up to the top. And now as we move on and I increase the weight you notice I will start coming up because I feel like the heavier the weight, the more I come up, the more pressure I'm putting on all of my front muscles and uh, my fast twitch fibers. And I do it at a good pace. And I might pause in between just because my legs are hurting, but I don't give up. I just keep pushing through it. And then I jump back to 15 pounds because I missed the 15 pound bar. So I want to make up for it. So actually on this, I'm going to hit 30 reps because I feel like I need to make up for it. And as you notice on this, I do halfway, I come halfway down and then I go back up and then I go all the way down and come back up. I split set it. So I'm getting that fast twitch fiber and I'm also getting the whole entire front leg muscle, you know, so I'm getting that burn all the way around. Now notice I'm only resting like 20 to 30 seconds in between this. Sometimes I'm only resting 10. And sometimes I'm not even really resting. I'm just trying to get through it. So I'm like, just keep going. And when you get, when you start doing that, you're going to start feeling that burn. And that's one thing about muscle growth. The more tension you put on the muscle, the better it's going to show, the more depth it's going to have, and the better it's going to pop. So then I move on and I go up to 25 pounds. Then I hit this 20 reps. And when I get to, I think it's rep number 15, I start getting a little wobbly. So, you know, I had to get my pose back together. And because I wobbled on the 15th rep, I actually make myself do five extra more. 
just to make up for it. For every time I mess up in a rep, I end up doing two to uh, five extra reps just to make up for it. And then I move on to 30 pounds. Now I was only gonna do 10, but I said, you know what? I got 20 in me, let me push it out. So I push that out and then I take a break and then I jump back in and I do 36 pounds. And this was only supposed to be eight to 15 reps, but I said, I got 20 in me, I'm gonna push. So I ended up doing 20. And like I told you, I come halfway up, halfway down, and then I go all the way up and come halfway down again. And this is just so I'm working all those muscles, it's muscle confusion, so my muscles don't even know, so they're like spazzing out. Be sure to watch part two of the next video. You can find the link for it in the description below. Muscles of motivation, baby. Who can't do it? They can't do it, but we can. Make sure you follow me and subscribe.